everyone. Hi. <laughs> We're back. Happy New Year. A happy New Year. Happy 2023. We're going to start year. off the year positive. Yep. New Year, same fickle. <laughs> New Year, same fickle. Indeed. We have not changed one bit. <laughs> Yeah. At all. <laughs> so we're real, you're well, we're really glad you're here. So I'm Cheryl. And I'm Kate. And together we are Fickle. Stitches. Yay. <laughs> we practiced. <laughs> we did practice because <laughs> we'll see what it turns out like. <laughs> So here we are on uh, January the 7th. That's what I was trying to figure out what day it was. 2023. <laughs> and um, it's been about a month since we last recorded. Um, so we have a lot to talk about and show you because we decided that right now is what the time to start all the things. <laughs> but we're going to save that for a little while later. Um, and we're going to start off with... Um, um, I guess we'll start off with our whips. We'll just jump right in. Finishes. Oh, finishes. Never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> Top of my whips. Oh, gosh. Finishes. All right. So, uh, I finished the Under the Sea Stitch Along um, by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. This is on a 16 count Fortnite fabrics. I started it June 3rd, 2022, and I finished 12 28 2022. Ooh, well done. Oh, let me put you. There we go. Oh, that turned out so good. I love that fabric. Yeah. Really nice. Gives me something to shoot towards. Put <laughs> <laughs> Cheryl's whip. <laughs> <laughs> they look like someday. <laughs> yes, someday. Excellent. That's really nice. Okay. And I finished the temperature butterflies by stitching mommy. This is on 16 count water lily using EJ of the Sunshine Stitchers Sulky Conversion. Started it on January 11th, 22, and I finished it on 12-31-22. Nice. Oh, that turned out really pretty. That's really nice. It oh, almost yeah. looks like one of those, you know, um, back in the day, well, people probably still do this, where they do the collections and they put a series of, like, a bug or whatever in yeah. a shadow box. That's what it reminds me of. It's really pretty. I took entomology in college. I had to do one of those collections. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Actually, we had a, a lab day out at a, a field station. We were collecting bugs with our nets and a monarch butterfly drifted through the field and there were eight crazy entomology students chasing after this monarch butterfly. That poor monarch butterfly. It was hilarious. I looked back at it and I was just like, oh my God, we were insane. <laughs> well, there you go. You've harkened back to your... Yes. College roots. There you go. All right. And then I finished the Nordic Winter Band Sampler. Oh, this one is so good. Oh. 16 count Veil of the Night by Fiberlicious. I started it January 9th, 22, and I finished it 12, 20, 22. Whoops. There it is. So freaking pretty. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh, that's. N yeah, I, I will definitely have to do that yeah. one. It's just too good. And down. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Gorgeous. Yep. Now, I need to catch up on the autumn one because I'm a couple months behind on that one. <laughs> All right, Cheryl, what did you finish? Well, here's the deal. I finished something and then promptly gave it to the person that it's, uh, 
it's going to for Christmas. <laughs> so I only have this. And I was going to finish it. Um, like I I wasn't sure how she it was for a coworker. Let me okay, let's start from the beginning. This was for a coworker. And um I wasn't a hundred percent sure how she wanted it to be finished. I didn't know if she wanted a pillow or if a stand-up or framed or whatever. So what I did was I rolled it up, I tied it with a little bow and made it all cute. And um and I gave it to her with the premise of hey, I'll finish for you. And she goes, oh, I think I've got stuff at home I can do. So I just left it with her. So all I've got is this. So I finished, there we go. I finished the winter cardinal etching that I started in late October. So pretty. It is super pretty. It's by, um, oh gosh. Got to look at my book, sorry. It was by... Do -ba -do -ba -do. Um, heart and hand. It was in the um, Punch Needle and Primitive Stitching magazine in the winter of 2020. And I did it on 28 count, um, even weave by Fortnite Fabric. I it's a I don't know, it's like a one of a kind. It was an ornament cut they had on their one of their like uh, auctions back in the day, and I picked it up and I did it on that. Um, it's, it was a creamy one with like some brown tinges, like a, like a typical samplery piece of fabric. Um, but their fabric is beautiful to stitch on. So that was my finish. Um, I don't, I hope she shows me a picture of how she <laughs> puts it together, but I have no idea. So it's already in its home. So there you go. That was my finish. So yay. Ding, ding, ding for ding, us. Ding, ding, ding. Enter Cardinal. There we go. Etching. All right. Well, then we can just like morph right into whips if you want to. Okay. All right. So I touched on Mythical Creature Stitch Along by Pain Free Crafts. It's on 16 count run. I had to catch it up to the point for this year because I'm I have six letters left and I'm working on a letter one month and then backstitching it stitching it the next month. Gotcha. Because otherwise I will burn this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I had to backstitch T for troll. <laughs> oh look at the troll. Yeah. So I will be working on the unicorn this month. Yes. Backstitch it in February. Nice. Okay. This is Primeval Mind by Forbidden Fiber Co. It's on 16 count chosen from Forbidden Fiber Co. And I'm using the Forbidden Fiber Co. threads. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you are almost done. Giles has, needs one more color, and then he's done. Nice. Those are turning out so, so good. I like the ombre effect they have going on there. Yeah, I mm -hmm. do too. Mm-hmm. So, I did long and hard about, because I'm putting them all on the same piece of fabric, so. Okay, so the little line that goes around, the little white thing that goes around, is three, and then the border is five, and then I thought I would put in seven blank spaces and then start the next one mm -hmm. three five seven five three i figured that would look yeah that'll look good i overthought it way too much because math because <laughs> math because i think brain is like odd versus even sometimes you know what i mean mm -hmm. i'm weird i know nope. i own it <laughs> All right. All right. So this one brings up. <clears throat> I mean, did I put them all over here? No, some of them. So um, in December, trying out um, the category system from Sammy J. Sammy J. Stitches on Floss Tube. Um, wanted to see if it worked for me, and I think it did. So I'm going to continue it. 
So one of the categories, you pick your patterns for the categories and then you pick your own goal. I didn't really have a goal for December because I was trying it out. I wanted to see what I would do. So one of the categories was pattern type PDF. So I chose Dark Queen of the Earth. This is by Autumn Lane Stitchery on 16 count sea salt color and cotton. And I put 1,092 stitches in. Oof. In December. Now I have since put in yeah, way more because I finished part four, which was 3,800 stitches. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't counting those stitches at that point. So, so I finished part four like two days before January 1st and got to enjoy being caught up and now I'm not caught up. <laughs> part five is on the other side of the bottom and is 2,500 stitches. Yeah. So, <laughs> but she's gorgeous and it's a pattern keeper now and it's Excuse me. so much easier. Yeah, for sure. Okay. This is my main, this next one is my main successful thing with the categories. So the category was longest since work done. And I haven't worked on this since July of 21. So this is Ravenclaw House by the Stitchery by MJ. It's an Etsy shop that's no longer on there. It's just stitched on 16 count antique white. Oh, yeah. And I did a page finish with 3,794 stitches. Wow. This one, once I saw it and pulled it back out and started working on it, I was like, I put a thousand stitches in and I'm like, I'm going to keep going. Yeah, you did. I'm saying, I'm going to keep going again. <laughs> and then I finished the page and I was like, why haven't I been stitching on this darn thing? <laughs> right. So are you at about like the halfway point of it? No. No? Okay, never mind. <laughs> if I finish that blank page, I'll be a third of the way. A third? Oh my lord. Okay. It's a big... Uh, yeah, I should have known. Okay, I take it back. <laughs> I like big projects. Uh, yes, you do. Now, I also own all three of the other ones. Oh my. Not so sure I will stitch all three of the other ones. <laughs> Goodness, Murphy. <laughs> Got in a good rhythm with that. Yeah, you did. The next, the last one of the categories okay. that I did was started two plus years ago. This is Sleeping Beauty from Dona Stitch on 16 count antique white Ada. And I put 2,100 stitches in this thing. Yeah, you did. I have two pages fully outlined. And so the bottom four pages mm -hmm. are not full pages. Okay. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, they're like half pages or a quarter pages or yeah, so I'm going to finish this thing this year. Yeah, you will. That's great. That one. Right. So I pulled out You Belong to Me by Long Dog Samplers. This is 16 count sandstone using a silks for you. I got a page finish. Yes. That looks really, really good with with that fabric. And I got a little creative, like the palm tree, I used like the darker. No, nope, the other way, there you go. <laughs> yeah, like you adjusted what threads, yeah. Yeah, so some of my threads are more orange and red and some of them are more green brown and red or orange at the ends. Mm -hmm. So I put the green and brown on the palm tree and then I made the bird orange and red. Yeah. And the border is just whatever I pick. I'm not being very specific about the border. Yeah. But 
No, that's turning out great. Yes. Just two more. No, you're great. It's well, been two, a month. <laughs> two more of this. Then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right. This is Potions and Spells by Autumn Lane Stitchery on 16 Count Midnight Ride by XJU Designs. Mm -hmm. Uh, I still have a thread. I still have a needle and thread. <laughs> and it's still in the nerge. Yep. Nice. So I did a page finish and then I have started working. I went up and I'm working on that page, but I haven't put a whole lot in. So you went up like the, uh, the, sh the shelf and the wave. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. There's four, it's four pages. So I could have gone over on the bottom, but I went up on yeah. the side. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. And then last but not least is Aspen Mandela by Ink Circles on 16 Count Princess from Be Stitch Me, which I think looks like a sky. Yeah. Ooh, you got a ways on that. Nice. Yeah, that fabric definitely gives sky vibes. So when you get out into the, like, that's going to be awesome. Yeah. Could I have aligned it better and not wasted fabric? Yeah. Sure. Live and learn. <laughs> right. It is what it is. If you got extra and you don't want to use it for the smalls, I'll buy them off you for all of my smalls ornaments I buy. <laughs> you don't have to buy. I'll just send. I, well, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Okay. Into my whips. Okay. Um, before I move on to you. Ooh. Okay. Yes. Twenty twenty two stats. Oh yeah. All right. So I didn't do what I started the year with. I probably should have done that. But um. So during twenty twenty two, I did whip go, and I wound up with the year with five blocks not finished. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. I, I think I did okay. Um, so in 2022, I finished 26 projects, I UFO'd six, and I started 49. <laughs> no shame. Oh, there's shame. <laughs> <laughs> but how many did you get finished again? 26. Okay. So you only added like. Two for every one that you done. Yeah, for every finish, I did two starts. Well, see, there you go. That's a great, that's good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're funny. I think it's supposed to be the reverse. <laughs> that's complexic there. That's like, only with clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so I wasn't quite as organized as Kate, and I don't have my yearly statistics for this video. But I will go through it just for grins and giggles so that uh, so that I have kind of a marching point from last, or I should say a point for last year so I can know what I did and compare it to this year. So, okay. Um, so I, in all of my stitching, um, did two whips. And the first one is... Um, S'mores Anyone by Lola Crow Cross Stitch. I started this um, as a surprise for my husband and then I couldn't stand it anymore because, and I had to tell him because I kept, um, when he would come into the room, I kept chucking it <laughs> away so he couldn't see that it was being done. I was like, okay, this is getting stupid. Hey babe, you're getting this. I hope you like it. <laughs> so. So then I could keep it more out in the open and not risk losing needles and all that good stuff. So uh, he knows he's getting it, um, but there you go. And so actually I'm doing quite good on this. I'm close to being done. Let me get this. Oh, I'm in a new spot, so I'm getting used to where the, there we go. So what I got done was the dragon. I finished the dragon 
and I'm starting along the tree line. Oh, good. It is so good. I love her designs. I love the detail um, that um, you're able to get with a minimal amount of uh, colors. Like the detail is pretty amazing. So this is done on a 20 count Ada um, doing uh, one thread over one. I did a small substitution um, along the bottom of the tree line. It's It asked for, uh, it was assuming that you were doing it two over whatever. And so it said use one thread of um, black and one thread of one of the greens. And I said, well, I'm doing it one over one, so that's not going to work. So I thought about it and discussed it with whoever was online that night and came to the conclusion that um, the trees are a uh, color family of greens and I just added in one more of the color family to adjust and have the dark. And I think it's turning out really good. So I just have the trees in the night with the marshmallow to do on that one, which is good. And then the other whip I worked on for a little bit was a Winter Holiday Pine Cone, which is a kit by Mill Hill. Um, and there it is. The kit comes as a um, magnet, and I plan on making it into a Christmas tree ornament. And I'm participating in Whip Warriors this year. And one of the things that they have is a start or a whip to qualify for what they're starting off as. Has to have either two hours or 200 stitches in. It can't be just, oh, I put in six stitches and call that a start. <laughs> so I had to put in a little extra, I had to put in an hour's worth of stitching so that I could count it and uh, use it as part of my whip challenge so um so i'll hold this up i hope you can see there we go yeah looks good yeah so i was able to get more of the ribbon completed and start in on the actual pine cone itself um so yeah it turned out good it's going to be really pretty i'm a sucker for a really nice red and the reds they use are really nice so so there we are on that so then that now qualifies for that group that I'm working on. Um, for any of you guys who don't know me and are participating in Whip Warriors, I'm doing Sweewee, <laughs> which is short form for stitch what you want when you want. Um, because of my birthday challenge, I'm starting a lot of stuff. And so it would be completely go against, they have a whole bunch of different uh, categories you can use. So um, this is a way for me to start the things I want to start, but also see progress on my whips, which I will be working on as well. It won't be all starts, but so there you go. So that's, those are the whips that I did. Yay. Yay for whips. Mm-hmm. How many stuff do you have? How many starts do I have? Um, I have six. Do we want to go back and forth? <laughs> no, you go ahead. Okay. So a lot of my starts were related to um, my birthday start along. Um, I am on track as far as the larger, the first 50 uh, set are concerned. I'm a little behind on the smalls. Um, and as far as starting a bunch of them. And so I'm getting a little bit caught up on that. So you'll see that in a minute. So the first one that I started since our last filming is Tis the Season by Blackbird Designs. It is part of the Home for the Holidays. Whoops, I'll do this. The Home for the Holidays book. And I'm going to see if I can show this to you without showing you any of the pattern. Mm 
Oops. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Um, this was on my radar for a long time, and I knew that when I was going to do my birthday challenge, this was going to be an immediate addition to the list. I will be doing the French version of the saying down along in the bottom. Um, and I am using 32 count legacy uh, from picture this plus and I am using the call for Belle Soie silk and might I just say they stitch like a dream so doop -a -doo, doop so this is how much I've got whoops I am so sorry this is what I've gotten done so far I've gotten the beak and the one of the main sprigs of the holly looks good yeah um like i said it stitches really nice and smooth so you get in a really nice rhythm of stitching it was hard for me to put it down so i can see myself going back and working on this one quite a bit when i feel like working on a whip whip so there's that in this in this lovely stitch and button bag i love this <laughs> cardinal cardinal <laughs> now because i'm doing all these starts i don't have a bag for every single one of them but if i do i try to match it just for fun um but yeah i don't have a project bag for each one of them but these ones i do because i happen to have a lot of christmas bags okay so the next one i started was pomegranate santa by plum street samplers this is it right here um it's got some of my favorites it's got christmas reds and it's got reindeer in it and it's kind of primy primy santa which i think is kind of cute i'm using all the call for colors of um, classic color works it lives in this cute bag from Black Cat X Stitchery. I got this while we were at StitchCon. And this is as far as I got on it. Boom! Pomegranate. <laughs> this is what I got. Up. Whoops. Can you see it? Up. Oh. There we go. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. It's a pomegranate. Definitely a pomegranate. Um, I'm using 36 count affogato by Fiber on a Whim for this one. I'll put that away. Okay. Then my next start was the cause of some angst because <laughs> um, starting this one off was stressful. Um, this one is called Love and Joy by Elizabeth Needlework Designs. I've always really enjoyed her patterns. I haven't done a lot of them lately. So this is one I wanted to do as part of my birthday start. Now, if you look really close to that border, that little vine is entirely backstitching and you kind of have to do that first to get everything in its place and it took me well the first night i started working on it i almost chucked it because <laughs> my eyeballs couldn't figure out the pattern of um, how many stitches were in the stitches but i finally persevered through and I was able to get all of the back stitch border done so you can see it. And I started the, um, yeah, like the pine, pine boughs that are in between. And they go in different directions. So I have to pay attention to that too. They're not all going in one direction like you think they're going to. So um, this was a kit. Um, I used to work at the Stitchworks when it was a brick and mortar store and they did a series of um, kits using Elizabeth designs um, 
and I was able to get my hands on one that had everything in it, including the treasures and the, um, so I actually have this pattern in two ways because I didn't think like there's, here's the, here's the kit. Oops, sorry. But it has everything in it, including the threads and the threads are silk threads. They're, um, let's see, Soie d'Alger and Gloriana with some beads and treasures from Mill Hill. And my friend Kit had already done this pillow and it was be it's beautiful when it's finished. So she eventually released it as this standalone pattern and I got it because I hadn't seen the kits. But when the Stitchworks owner was selling to another person, they pulled out all the stuff in storage and the kit, this kit was, they pulled that out to sell, like they were selling some, some of their inventory and it had the full thing. So I was like, and I'm going to get that because I wanted the threads. So now I have two copies of this. So I will probably let one of these copies go once I'm done. <laughs> so if you, with the treasures, because um, yeah, I got two sets of the treasures too. So if anybody is interested, you can reach out to me and I can pass it along once I'm done this one. But now that I've got the hard part done, the rest of it will be pretty smooth sailing. Um, the fabric is like a 28 count cream, even weave. And like I said, there's um, silks in the kit. And then this is where I had to laugh about our fickleness was in full effect still. Um, I originally planned to be part of the New Year's Eve 12 by 12 start thing that was uh, run by, was it KB Quilting and... Um, KB and Pam. Yeah, and Pam from Just Keep Stitching. I had full intentions of um, participating. I was going to do um, half whips and half new starts and actually do half of them on New Year's Eve and the other half on New Year's Day. And um, life happens and I wasn't able to participate in that. And that's okay, but I was still, I still use January 1st as the starting point for a, um, a couple of smalls. And what I decided to do was some of the smalls that I had as part of, that I originally chosen as part of my birthday, 50 for 50, 50 and 50 for 50, I moved over from the main category over to smalls. So not all of the smalls are going to be Christmas. <laughs> so there you Shock. go. It's shocking. Um, the vast majority will be, but I moved some of them over because they were already ready to go. I'm like, let's count because I found other bigger ones that I wanted to put over here. So that's what I ended up doing. So that's a long explanation to show you. I'm going to move this out of the way. Sorry for the crack. So I started um, Berry Basket Pin Cushion. Oh, can you see? There. Berry Basket Pin Cushion. I will tell you right now that I will probably change the 1851 to whatever year I finish it. Um, the date is not significant to me, so I'd rather change it to a date that is. <laughs> So um, this was uh, designed by Nikki's Creations um, and it's found in the Just Cross Stitch magazine, August 2019 edition. And I'm using the Call for DMC. Um, and the fabric that I'm using is a 28 count even weave, one of a kind even weave um, by Fortnite Fabrics. It's a green, I don't know if this will pick up on the screen, but it's a green, like a sagey green um, fabric. And I'm using the called for DMC. So there's the start of it. Up. Oh, up. There we go. There. Uh, you can't really see the colors very good, but they're very... Oh, sorry. Is it out of the thing again? No, now it is. Oh, shoot. I can't see. Sorry, Kate. I, there, there we go. There it is. Okay. Um, very much typical, typical sample colors all in DMC. Yeah. 
Yep. Super cute. All right. Then my next small that I started on January the 1st, Kate will recognize because the pattern was passed along to me from her. And the pattern is O Whale by Hands on Designs. I know you said you did yours in all DMC, right? No, I started with the specialty blossom and then was like, these are not really even variegated and this is just wasting money. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm using the variegated. <laughs> you you have think... one. I had like all nine or 12 of them. So, Oh, no, there they are. <laughs> I got them all. Um, yeah. Although I'm out of, or I couldn't get two of them, and I just might. Uh, I think they're like the the bubbles. I think I'm missing like the one that's the bubbles on the inside of this whale. And I think I'll just sub in the DMC for that one if I can't get it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not a huge deal. Uh, but this one. I put on 32 count mint splash Lugana and I think it's enjoyable so I got the whole whoops outline done and I just like the splashes on it cute I think I think it'll look really good and this is in like a bag that wasn't given to me as a project bag, but I'm using it because it has seahorses on it. And then my last new to start for now is Temperature Quilt by Stitching Mummy. And this is what it's going to look like. And I got, after watching you and EJ and um, Laurel and some other people work on the temperature butterflies, I decided I wanted to do a, a temperature-esque thing to mark the days of my birthday year. Um, but I wanted to find one that had the ability to do highs and lows on it because I wanted to record the temperature of the place where I grew up in Nova Scotia versus the place I'm now living in Broken Arrow. <laughs> because one of the things I get asked a lot is the differences in temperature. Uh, what's the weather like difference between Oklahoma and Nova Scotia? And I thought this would be a fun way of showing that, you know, there are some times where it's warmer in Nova Scotia than it is in Oklahoma and vice versa. Sometimes, very rarely, um, but sometimes. And um, I came across this one. So, and it fits with my crafty thoughts in that it's a quilt and um so i'm going with the whoops sorry i'm going with the um beige-ish background to really let the colors pop okay. and i've i've added an extra column because i am actually charting the temperatures from october 23rd 2022 to october 23 2023 the actual year so, so I had an extra, I had an extra column for that. You just wanted to make it more difficult on yourself. I, apparently I did. <laughs> it wasn't an intent, but <laughs> it was a good thing. I think Laura was on with me when the epiphany happened and I realized that I would have to add the extra column <laughs> because it's not a straight 12 months. Uh, <laughs> but I was able, I, 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 it came to me early enough that I could add it on. So I wanted to show you how far I've gotten on it so far. Um, and I'm going to be focusing 
a lot on it this weekend to um, try to quote catch up. So I've gotten the whole top across done and I have started, whoops, where's my hand? This column where you see the first two color blocks is actually for the month of November because I'm coloring in the column for October 2022 until I hit the 23rd. Okay. Do you see what I'm doing? So, yeah. yeah. So that's where I am so far. And so the I've got the four columns, October, November, December, and January. And I'm going to start the January and try to um, put theirs in every day. And then on Tuesdays, I plan on stitching just on the temperature quilt to get it caught up so that all I'm doing is that day's, do you see what I mean? Like I'm trying to catch up the last four months. So, um, so I'm excited about that. I'm really interested to see the difference. So the top color, the top color is going to be where I grew up and the bottom color is going to be Broken Arrow. Okay. Just for reference. And then over here in the, where the, it's going to be all really beige down to the 23rd, I'm going to actually stitch in, like put the letters in for the two locations. Okay. So that we can kind of see where, which two are being compared. So there you go. So those are all my starts. Yay. Yay. <laughs> when I started putting them together to prep for today, I was like, wow, that was actually quite a few. <laughs> and I'm actually behind because I have one more that I'm going to start after we're done this video. Okay. Because I had to cut fabric and I just didn't want to mess with it last night. So I'm going to cut it this afternoon and start them. So, so there you go. All right. All right. Um, I did participate in the New Year's Eve 12 by 12. Mm -hmm. And um, all I can say is it is fun, but you need to be super prepared, super overthought prepared. Um, and luckily for me, I was. <laughs> I had, I mean, you got to have your fabric cut and me measured and cut. You got to have all your flosses. You got to have working copies made. I had everything put on hoops or nurges. Mm. Looked at all my charts and figured out where I was starting. I wrote myself post-it notes and you know, top middle, bottom right. For all of them, put needles in. I measured off, you know, my allowances and stuck a needle through the fabric where I needed to start. Yeah. So when the hour dinged up, I just pulled it out, read my post-it, pulled the color, and started stitching. <laughs> so for, for people who may not be familiar with the premise of 12 by 12, do you want to tell them what that was all about? All that uh, was? New Year's Eve, Kia B and Pam decided to do this. They've been doing it for a couple of years. Um, it originally was 12 new starts in 12 hours. This year it morphed into you could do work on 12 whips in 12 hours, or you could do any combination of that. I was uh, hashtag team new starts. Excellent. <laughs> and I did 12 new starts in 12 hours. And I do not have a new year new start because I don't feel like starting anything <laughs> anymore. <laughs> So the thought process is at the start of every hour, boom, you start a new whip or you start a new, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you, you have to go to the bathroom, you have to eat, you have to take the dog out. You don't get a full hour of stitch. Right. And um, so in no, I don't have them in order anymore, but in, and this is where we're going to really have to insert photos of what things look like. Yeah, I have everything. You send everything to me, I think. Okay, so I think this was the second hour. I started Full Moon Winter Night by Evdakoya Nikolaevia. 
it's DMC. It's on 16 count fabric flare in the colorway Twilight. Ooh, let me switch this, you to the full thing. Just wait a sec. Oh, that is so pretty. And this is what I have done. The Beautiful. moon and the trees are full crosses, and everything else is half stitch. Um, but then it looks like half stitch is done, and yeah. So, really like it. Really like how it looks. Really think I could just whip this puppy off. It's beautiful. <laughs> but I need to not. I have other things I need to stitch. <laughs> okay. This next one is Reflections of Ireland by Ink Circles. I'm using DMC 4045, which is one of their color variations. And I'm doing this on 16 count gilded from Be Stitch Me. I love this color combination together. Here's oh. where I'm at. Now, this is not an hour's worth of stitching. I have worked more on these two projects since New Year's Eve. It's beautiful. I yeah, love I love it. Yeah, you're right about the contrast. It's beautiful. Sometimes I pick good color choices. You pick them lots. Right. There's that one. This next one is Mother of the Ocean from the Primitive Hair. Using most of the called for colors, I think when I hit it up, I had to sub something. This is on 16 count sampler gold. Where am I? All right, this is what I got done in an hour. I got the word ancient. <laughs> nice. See the color a little. It's lighter than it, it's showing. Mm -hmm. but. Nice. And it's in a jellyfish project bag. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's stitching oh! button. <laughs> All right. Here's one of those things that happens every so often. This next one, I was super excited to start. It was a contender for a, a birthday start at some point. And I started it, and I'm like, this is not going to be a fun stitch. I'm going to stitch it. It's not going to be a fun stitch. Mm. This Breath of Winter by Nadizda Gavrilenkova. I'll do it's a 16 count Ada, maybe. And the other side. There you go, Kate. Yeah. Hours worth of stitching. Yeah. So why do you feel this is not going to be a fun stitch? Uh okay, Russian designer. I have Two pages of chart for each page. One is the like all, shows all the full X's. The other one shows the back stitching. Mm. But on the back stitching, I don't like it when they when I know clearly that this should be a three quarter stitch. This should be a quarter stitch. This should. And on the other page, they're full stitches, and I'm like, I don't do my stitches like that. I'll so I'm cleaning it up as I go. I'm doing. The X is like, I think they should be done. I'm doing putting in all the quarter stitches and stuff. Okay. So it just is like, got to go back and forth. And I thought I was going to love this one so much. And I'm not. <laughs> well, that's a bummer. <laughs> it just won't be, it won't whip along. This next one in a crab shack stitchery bag with the flamingos <laughs> <laughs> is, is called Zombies. And you'll see a picture and you'll see why I picked the flamingo bag <laughs> from the Prairie Moon 
and it is on um, 16 count witchy from be stitch me and what did i want to say i wanted to say something about the right oh this is my first time using bell soie silks oh my right oh my they're amazing so i love this color fabric oh my gosh that's awesome <laughs> The little and feet. That is flamingo legs. Love it. There's a, a two headed flamingo holding up the table that the zombies are drinking their drinks at. <laughs> <laughs> love it. I, I love this one. I'm like, I just want to keep stitching on this. And it is going to get some more love before it goes away. I was going to say, because the nerd is still there. <laughs> the nerd is, well, the nerd is still on Breath of Winter, too. Yes. I wanted to um, put more stitches in than I did on the 12 by 12 mm -hmm. on the actual day because I feel kind of, they don't have a ton. Yeah. So the ones that still have hoops or nerges on them still need more. Um, this next one is a restart. This is Anzac from Long Dog using DMC. This is on 16 count sampler gold. I didn't like what I was doing on the last version of it. Uh, it was a variegated silk from Mrs. Satis. And the silk was gorgeous, but I didn't like the effect. I didn't. I just didn't like the stripy animals and all that. It didn't match your vibe. Didn't match my vibe. So this is 823. So if you've seen, you'll have seen a photo of it. So the, the New Zealand and Australia are in this. So New Zealand is going to be in a green, a dark green, and Australia is in like a dark rust. Oh, nice. Thing else is in the dark blue. That's my my plan for this restart. Gotcha. I got to go through and figure out what's green and what's, because there are animals that kind of overlap here and there. Mm-hmm. I got to try to figure that out. But... I'm a long way from New Zealand, so. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is Avalon Parting the Mists from the Little Stitcher. This is on a 16 count Fortnite fabric using DMC. I do not remember what this is called, but I got part of Avalon. Oh, nice. Stitching very nice. Nice. And who is the uh, designer on that one again? Sorry. The Little Stitcher. Little Stitcher, okay. She's got a couple more um, Avalon patterns. Like, there's a Camelot one. And right. This is the Moon Phase Bell Pull from the Tiny Modernist. It's stitched on 16 count chalkboard black. DMC. There's four colors of DMC. Okay. All I've done is black. Oh, nice. Oh, it does show up very nice. Yeah, it does. So, very happy with that. Yep, looks great. <laughs> Four more. You're doing great. <laughs> I'm not mad. All right. So the next two live in the same bag. They are, have the swans and the bear from Cottage Garden Samplings. So the swans are stitched on, I never looked up 16 count something huh? at the on. Oh, does it tell me what it is? Picture this plus. Picture Mirage. Okay. Nice. Oops. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, roof of the little house there and the couple trees and the snowflake. That's the swans. Like the fox. Right. Nice. So, that has more stitches than the hour. And there are. I th thought I would enjoy more, but I, I not because I'm looking at it and it's got so that bear is so big, mm -hmm. it's just intimidating me. 
So this count. This is why you leave your things on. Heritage from Picture This Plus. And here's my start on the bear. Nice. So that bear seriously has got to be like 6,000. It's a large bear. It is a very large bear and it takes up most of that pattern. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> on the floor and I don't know why I don't know if it was because I looked at it and was like oh there's a lot less there <laughs> it could just be all psychological in my head could be I own that this this one is Namaste Witches number one by three this is on 16 count pumpkin pie from Be Stitch Me I've done all the other ones. So here's my start. Nice. Here's the rest of them. Oh, yeah. So they're all little witches on brooms doing yoga poses. Okay, that's hilarious. I love them. <laughs> I may have someone to finish them. It's 890 stitches. You can do I'm, it. I'm afraid the next one is up. I'm just going to finish it. It's the only small on my whip list. <laughs> so I kind of want to leave it there for a little while just mm -hmm. so I can have a small project. <laughs> Uh, this last one is Kingfishers from Owl Forest using the Owl Forest threads. This is on 16 count morning fog from Be Stitch Me. Nice. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. That has more stitches than the hour. You guys tired of all my starts? Because I'm. Because you're what? You I'm cut done. Right out. Oh, you're done. Dear goodness. Done. Nice. That's a nice uh, pile of fun things that we've both started. <laughs> I think it's fun because I, I. Out of 12. There's only one that I really don't like stitching on. Yeah, that's a, actually quite a good percentage. Because sometimes you really love something, and then you start stitching it, and you're like, ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's how I felt about Love and Joy. Like, what, now that I got the back stitching part start, like done, I'm great. But when I was in the weeds, and you heard <laughs> and saw. I heard. <laughs> you heard and saw. <laughs> um, it, it almost, um, caused me to stop. But once I figured out the spacing and the, um, my eyes could focus on it, then it got a little better. So I'm hoping that for you, for that one that you're having some trouble with, that it gets better. I hope so. I hope so too. Yeah. Cause that, you know, you've been looking forward to that one for a while. And honestly, stitching for a, a four is not a good measure of whether or not you, you got to get used to your uh, the pattern and how you stitch it. You really do. Yeah, and that was swapping a lot of styles, and you know, I'm going on this one. I'm going down on those ones. I'm going on the center here. I'm going. There's a lot. So now that you've been through it once, do you think you'll do it again? Tentatively, it's January 7th and you're asking me the question. <laughs> no! I know. Tentatively, tentatively, my thought is next New Year's Eve, well, next New Year's Eve, I'm going to have to work. Ah. Get it off this year. It's every other. Mm -hmm. So um, what I might just plan on doing is 
whatever is left over from this New Year's Eve working on them. That's a great idea. And uh, just giving them some love around New Year's Eve, January 1st. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm hopeful that four of them, well, one, two, three. Three for sure will be finished. Mm hmm. Maybe four or five. Yeah. But I, I was wondering, uh, I, I know that, you know, it is January the 7th, but I was wondering, just based on your experience of doing it this time, do you think it's something that you'll want to do again? And maybe not necessarily this coming year. I think I would do it again. I'm not sure I would do 12 new starts. Because mm. I've hit the point now with the, my number of whips that I have gone a little bit like, Oh my, I need to stop. <laughs> so maybe do the beyond team whips next time. That's all. Yeah. I, yeah. I need to, to slow my roll and I need to, uh, he's looking for some finishes. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I know that I was really disappointed that I couldn't join in. Like I had a great plan and it just didn't work out. So I think because knowing like what you did and what you went through, I think I would start setting aside, like start putting the projects together early, earlier for me. So I'm not running around. I was doing it in November. I started and then I had work lists of like, do I have the floss? Do I have the fabric? Do yeah. I have a work copy? <laughs> yeah. Because in my head, like by that time, I will be done all the new starts that I have planned for my 50th year. Mm -hmm. And that's when I could start picking out, okay, what would be some fun starts for the beginning of 2023 and then just, or 2024, I should say, and then 2024 be all, we might go back to the no new starts thing or very few starts thing. Yeah. We'll see. So, okay, cool. Yeah. Cause I, I saw you prepare and, um, cause you're very thorough, which I love. And um, you even did some things I didn't even think about, like actually starting, like putting your starting point in. Yeah, it's the, the swans was the hardest one. I'm so glad I figured that out because I had to count off the fox. Mm -hmm. Didn't start right in that corner. So I put the needle in the corner that marked the edge of the pattern. Mm -hmm. And then wrote myself a post-it saying the first snowflake is 12 to the right of this needle <laughs> yeah yeah so you want to get yourself as prepared as possible so you're not wasting any time counting or or Measure. setting it up yeah mm -hmm. or pulling out your little corner gauge and figuring out your allowance and yeah all that stuff yeah. i get it yeah cool very smoothly i really didn't have an issue I, about start five or six i was like oh what did i get myself into and then I just sort of powered through and was like, okay, these are still fun. Let's keep going. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I like, I like the idea of um, if you feel overwhelmed with starting 12 things to, to mix and match and do have and have, or, you know, but still participating in the event, you know, the other, the other main organizational thing you need to consider your food for those 12 hours. <laughs> yes. You don't want to be cooking. You don't want to be, uh, you know, putting together stuff. Um, I had gotten a sub that morning. So I ate half the sub at one point and half the sub later. Yeah. And, um, had a couple snacks here and there. I had, um, but I was just like, nope, I don't want to have to put anything in the oven. I don't want to have to... <laughs> Yeah, and you have to think about that stuff. Reheat. I just wanted to grab something out of the fridge and eat it. <laughs> yeah, and you don't think about that until you're halfway through it going, well, crap. <laughs> well, crap, I need to eat. I'm starving and I'm getting hangry and I don't want to stitch anymore. <laughs> yeah, I need to stay hydrated. <laughs> yes, drink, drink, drink. Yeah, so, yes. Well, very, very good. Well... How's your haul? 
I don't know. Well, um, uh, significant <laughs> to the point where I'm not going to show everything um, because they'll be shown through the year because there was a large chunk that was um, acquired during the uh, New Year's Eve sale at the Silver Needle for my upcoming starts. So most of that I won't show. I got a ton of D well, between that and a Michael Joanne's run for DMC because they had coupons. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't ever show my floss that I get if it yeah. comes at going in a project. It was a lot, there was a lot of floss. Um, so there was a lot of floss. There was a lot of um, big pieces of fabric um, that I bought. Um, but one is to be cut into like 20 little squares. One is being cut into two, you know, and so I got enough fabric to kit out a significant chunk of what patterns I wanted special fabric for. Mm -hmm. um, I got almost all of the over dyed floss I wanted, but I will show you, um, the silver needle sale is, is fun. It's a annual, well, it seems to be an annual tradition on New Year's Eve. Um, they have a sale going on. And if you get there between the hours 6 a.m. and 7 a.m., you get a 25% discount. You can order online as well and still get that discount between those hours. And then from the hour of 7 to 8, you get a 20% discount and it goes down. I think they cut it off at around 15% and that's the rest of the day. Um, so you want to get either your order sent in online during that hour, or you want to actually physically get there, um, that day. And so, um, I went, my friend Kit went and we met Matt, who's NBC Stitcher. Um, we all met together <laughs> and kind of shopped together. Um, and we all kind of went off in our different ways and we would circle, like we would come across each other and say, Ooh, what did you get? What'd you get? And Matt was really kind and helped me do some, uh, color swaps. Um, and so I was like, okay, I need you to find a color swap for this color and this color. So he would go and get it and try to find them for me. Cause he was done essentially done shopping at that point. So he thought he'd help me out. So that was really sweet of him. So, um, so yeah, but I did get some patterns that were independent <laughs> of my list of things I was looking for. The first one I got was Plum Street Samplers by Car uh, Cardinal Kin. I knew you were going to get that. Shock, 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 shock. I will Wait. probably end up, oh, oh yeah, you're right. Sorry. Uh, okay. I will probably do both color versions because I like both of them. I knew that as well. <laughs> <laughs> I might do one like as a, uh, like a pillow and then the other one as an ornament just to be different. So, so they're not identical, but yeah, so I got this one while I was there. And then the other one I purchased while I was there was a year in the woods, the reindeer. I decided that I wasn't going to do all 12. I had them narrowed down to one pick per season. And, um, and out of those four, this is numero uno. I love this one so, so much. And you I'm, love it more than the fox. I love this one more than the fox. Oh, I know. <laughs> <We're friends. laughs> but the fox, I think, was my choice for, um, Oh no, because the fox was a winter one, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, I did love this one more than the fox. As far as the, but I do love the fox one too. But yeah. There are exceptions to every rule you can create. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, that was my thought because I, I really did enjoy, I enjoyed them, but I didn't see myself stitching every single one of them. And so I didn't. I was, you know, but I definitely got the reindeer. I also purchased um, a pattern that will show up later in my birthday starts. 
Okay. So I'll leave that one alone. Do you want me to keep going with my? Yeah, let's okay. go. All right. So I will, I'll just pop this over here. Okay. So then in the mail, um, during the Jingle Bell Ball, I ordered the um, O Christmas tree um, patterns. It was, there's a three of them um, by Hands On Design. And I got the color and cotton pack to go with them because um, they just look so good. So I got that. I also um, this year wanted to in, um, work on putting some variety in my um, fabric stash. So I joined um, two fabric clubs to see how I felt about them. <laughs> One was um, I picked the Stitch Me. I guess. Do you want me to undo it so you can see the whole thing, or what do you want me to do? No, you can do the thing. Leave it as is? Okay. So I got um, the Fabric of the Month Club with Bee Stitch Me. I got 40 Count Verdal. And because, you know, there's a shortage, and there's even more of a shortage since Matt shorted it even long. But you know what I'm saying. So I got um, ever. this is the first one. And it was evergreen. So it's a really beautiful muted green. You can't really, it looks different on the camera, of course, but of course. it always does. But it's a really pretty green, which makes me happy. Um, and then I got a series of boxes. <laughs> they all finally showed up. Um, the first one I'll show you was the 12 days of Christmas um, bag that uh, Vicki at Stitch and Button did. And it was the first time she tried doing something of this nature. Uh, it was kind of like a trial thing. And I signed up because um, if anything, the bag is awesome. <laughs> she makes really great bags. And so I was like, well, if I don't like everything else, at least I get a really pretty bag out of it. And I wasn't really worried about that, but you know. Um, and it turned out that the stuff inside was really cute. Um, the premise was to celebrate the 12 days of Christmas. Um, and uh, so she had the bag plus 12 items. I won't pull everything out, but the bag is lovely. There was a matching fabric tray. Oh, nice. That you snap in, or you can fold over and- I love mine. Yeah, they're awesome. So that was one of the things in there. Um, there's some hand dyed um, fabric to go along. I mean, it's the same color, so I'm assuming it was intentional to go along with um, the pattern from Fox and Rabbit, the Yuletide Deer, which hits lots of yay points for me. And yeah. I love the deer. It, you can't really tell, but the ornaments are hanging from the antlers. <laughs> It's super faint, so you can't really see it. But anyway, so that was kind of cute. I like that. Um, Died by Sammy's daughter. Yes, the fabric was done by um, Sammy J's daughter. And it's. Uh, it looks like it's, yeah, it's definitely Ada. I think it's 18 count. And it's like a pale, snowy, frosty winter. Beautiful. Super cute, and I'm really impressed. It turned out really nice. Well done, Sammy's daughter. <laughs> I can't remember her name off the top of my head, um, but oh, I guess her name is uh, Dreamer Bug. I, I don't know if that's what it is on Instagram. And her mom is Sammy J from the Tiny Hummingbird Stitchery. So there's that. Um, she did a series of like there's a um, zipper pull, scissor fob, all in the same kind of color. So it was almost like a set. Um, there was um, a thread pole, a really cute needle minder. Aww. Which I thought was fun. Um, she also did um, a Christmas ornament, which is cute. Yeah. She did that. There was some beads in there. There's some thread drops. Um, yeah, so it was a really, it was a really great 
bag full of stuff. <laughs> and I think she was just trying it to see if she liked doing it, you know, a trial run. And um, I am hopeful because she talked about maybe doing a Halloween one, right? I'm in. Yeah. And I would not even be in for whatever the Halloween one would be. So, um, yeah, I'm really impressed. And the bag, of course, her, she's a really, her bags are always really well made. And the little, um, the thread tray and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, so there was that. And then I had a bit of a subscription with um, Stitchy Box, and a couple of them came in. Um, I, I alluded to before in the video before that there were some logistics problems she had this year. So some of them are a little later than uh, like when they were originally thought, but there was always some good stuff. But the first one I got was every, well, that I'm going to show you. Um, sometimes she does a special uh, like Christmas gift box which is not one of her um, bigger ones, but it's really great if you want to give a gift to a stitcher and it's pretty affordable and there's a little bit of everything in there. Um, so in this one, there was a fun tea, there was um, some chocolates, um, a little wax gingerbread, beeswax gingerbread man. Um, there's a couple patterns. What sold me on this was when I opened it and there was this little um, stocking. <laughs> and on the front, there's a Christmas tree needle minder. And this is where she stuffed all the threads as part of this. And I, I've got them all together. So you can see there's a mixture of silks and um, over dyed um, special edition um, sampler threads and those were stuck in the uh, uh, in the uh, this I just thought it was super cute um, and there's like one two three different patterns stitchy box patterns that you could use the threads on there they were good monochromatic patterns that you could use the thread that they were included so that's a fun one if you want to keep an eye out i don't think she does it every year but she did this year and um i had done one of those before and i was happy with it in the past so i was like oh i'll do that and so that was it's called the yeah the merry christmas um it's almost like a little gift box it's pretty cute um then another one that was an actual part of my subscription was the Christmas, the Advent box, which is you count down 1 to 25. So I did that till Christmas Day, and then I did Vicky's from Christmas Day onwards. So I opened a little thing every day for, the, <laughs> for a while, which was kind of fun. What's that? You've been spoiled. I am. I really am. Um, so there's always a mixture of things in her um, subscription boxes. I'm just going to pull out a couple of things that I really enjoyed about the box. Um, I wanted to show you the threads that came in this particular one. Can you, I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Okay. So there's a cottage garden thread. Um, one, two, three, four silks. And a couple over-dyed cottons, which are really pretty. Um, she always includes like some charms and things like that that you can use for scissor fobs or um, bag pulls or things like that. Um, oh, I wanted to show you the fabric that came in these ones this year. Uh, the first one is um, 32 Count Lagana. I, I always, I tend to go to the, um, the option with higher count, um, fabric. So this one is 32 count basalt s splash. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Lugana even weave, which is kind of fun. Nice wintry one. And then the other one was a 36 count linen, linen, sorry, 
uh, Night Sky by Fiber on a Whim. And this is more of a, almost like a charcoal -y. I've looked at that and I've thought about buying. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful in person. Yeah, so you usually get a, a couple cuts of fabric. Whoops. And um, beads. And always a couple of um, patterns. And I think my favorite one out of the ones that were in the advent this year was this one, the heart and hand doodles, Christmas doodles. Kind of cute. And there's like little finishing things and beads and things like that. So like I said, I wasn't going to show you the whole thing. I'll put that over here. And the last one that came in during all this time was my autumn one. And again, I'm just going to, uh, it's autumn splendor. It's what it's called. And this one is 30 um, little packages. You can open all at once or one a day for a month. And they're all in the autumn theme. And so I will show you first, here are the flosses that came in with this pack. Nice. So there's one, two, three, four, five silks, a thread works, and a couple um, classic color works or gassed. So there's a lot of thread that comes in these and it's, I find it kind of fun. It's helped me, um, boost my silk stash. <laughs> so I've got that. Um, there was a little, little fall sticker, which is kind of cute. Little book. You want to keep notes in. Um, and I was really excited to see this because this was the pattern that was included. It is Harper's Forest. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, I want. And it was on my wish list, and I hadn't pulled the trigger yet. And now I'm really glad because it was in my box. Done. Yeah. So I was really happy to see that. And of course, like I said before, there's always some little charms. There's some beads, both, you know, regular seed beads and then really fancy you know, fancy ones for some sparkle and some zhuzh. And, um, yeah, so it just seemed like a lot because they all came in because she was able to finally send some of them and the, and it was also the Christmas time one. So, so there you go. That's not counting like all the other stuff I bought for my starts. That's, those are the fun things. Okay. So there you go. That's it. Do I get to see? The Wegman's bag of acquisitions. <laughs> I can't figure out how to do like a like a thing to flash on the screen, so I thought I'd sing it in. There you go. All right. <laughs> My first thing is a project bag, shocker, Shocked. from Ragtag Quilt Art, I believe is what it's called. So it quilted on the back. And then, ooh. So pretty. <sighs> Somebody's fabric. One of the designers' fabric. Is it Teresa Kogut's? Yes. Yeah. It's beautiful. Great. What is in here? <laughs> oh, I will save this. <laughs> I think I know what that is. You do. Uh, Be Stitch Me 16 Count Fat Half Honey. Pretty. Girls. Thinking about switching. I should really drop these stitch me. I really should. I need to. And yet. And yet. <laughs> I did 
I, I have dropped Fortnite. I did not resubscribe. And I'm getting one more Grace Notes. And then I have unsubscribed. And I start Garand Stitchery at the end of the month. This is a this is from Grace Notes. It's a fat quarter, sixteen count crescendo. Ooh, pretty. It's it's lighter than that. Mm-hmm. But it is pretty. Nice. And she sent a nice little Christmas card with it. More fabric. Uh, Be stitch me. I don't remember buying this. I think this. I, I have no idea. It's a fat quarter, sixteen count from Be Stitch Me. I haven't been ordering fat quarters from her. It's called Rainy Day. I, I think. I don't, gift? I don't know. It's pretty. Uh, an error? Did I get this? Somebody else ordered this, but um. It's mine now. Okay. <laughs> Did I have purchased it? Maybe. <laughs> All right. Uh, pretty sure I ordered this one. This is a 16 count half yard. And I'm going to have to open this up because that, you cannot see it. Okay. Don't make this hard on me. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the crinkle, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't opened this up. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Bam! Oh! Wow! This is called The Howling. This Deep. is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the Howling is you when you open up the thing and go, oh my God. Do you have a plan for that one or you just saw it and went, oh, I must have? Uh, oh, I must have. It's beautiful. Oh, I must have. Okay, so can you describe the colors? Is it gray? Is it purple? Is it, what is it? It's it's gray and orange. Gray and orange. Okay. Maybe a tiny bit of purple in there, but not just gray and orange. It's beautiful. Leela Studio Halloween Quaker possibility. <gasps> Would you use like a white thread for the Quaker part? No. Okay. It's that that one is like ninety percent black. Oh, okay. Uh, I got some hand dyed silks from Be Stitch Me. I think it was just a kind of a grab baggy thing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, pretty. Very pretty. Pretty, pretty. Oh, organza bag. Okay, that's adorable. <laughs> Presentation is everything. Uh -huh. No, it's not. Well, I mean, it helps, but yeah. <laughs> I the presentation. Would I do something like that myself? No. Wait to whatever. Uh, right. All right. I'm, I'm going to be honest. First time I've kind of been a little bit disappointed in Fortnite fabrics. Really? Last fabric of the month, I believe. Half yard, 16 count. This is called First Kiss. And I'm just kind of... Eh. Is it gray? Yeah, like gray, green. I don't know. There's not a lot of modeling going on. Not a lot of. I. Yeah, that's uh, not one of my favorites. Okay. It, it, it happens. Yeah. I highly recommend Fortnite fabrics anyway. Right. <laughs> I mean, I don't like every color they make. Oh, no, that's true. Uh, I don't remember where I got this, but I 
somewhere on Etsy, I was able to acquire the Owl Forest Embroidery Floss for Tip Mice. The pattern. Oh, yeah. Nice. And they threw in this Russian kit thingy. How cute. Uh, 14 count Ada. Will I stitch it? No. <laughs> Will I put it on a freebie table somewhere? Yes. Yes. Oh. Picky Stitch and Button had a live sale. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where everything was discounted. So I got these. When was that? Because somehow I managed to miss that. <laughs> I think I was you, at the office party. You were at your office party. Yeah. So there's a Christmas tree felt thing with a needle in the middle. But these are what I... These are little clip things. They're like... They don't... They're not like spring clips, but like for your larger patterns, when you roll up the floss, you can like clip the... Oh, yes. So... You're not trying to hold the hole with the thing, but you know how I can't explain it. They're helpful. They're helpful gadgets. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, now I can move some of these around where they need to be. All right. So first round of needle minders. There's a wolf. There's a hello. My name is I stab things. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Oh, and shocker. Shock, shocker. The boys from Supernatural. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's no shocker on any any one of those three, but yes. Oh, actually, it's the original. It's Crowley on there. Yay! <laughs> there you go. Reason? Okay. Oh, no. oh, they all want to live together. Ugh. When you buy a lot of needle minders, they want to live together. All right. So. The butterfly was a freebie, and then there's the Santa from, you know, Rudolph. <gasps> and then there's Wonder Woman. I'm going to have to look and see if she still has those Santas. So this is get in loser <laughs> and stitching mends the soul. Oh, I love that. See, I can be sweet. You can. <laughs> you are. Okay. Yes, I can be sweet. Then we have sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I'm allergic to people. <laughs> yep. And then Maleficent with the dragon. Love it. Okay. That's all I purchased. Crap tone to DMC, but. And then I got a package from my friend Cheryl. Oh, I might have, yes. For Christmas. Look at this gorgeous puffins! I love puffins. So I used to work at Amos Pewter when I lived in Nova Scotia, and they release with the the original owners and now with the second owners they release a new ornament every year uh, so it's become this big collector's thing they do other ornaments though as well but when that came into my email and it, i saw it was puffins i literally yelled out the word kate because i knew kate loved puffins so when i was home i had to snag one for her <laughs> <laughs> i got this needle minder it's Two people outside. That's correct. From Rebel Stitcher Designs. Enjoyable. With Albus on there. He's so cute. So cute. And then I got this cute pair of scissors. With black cats on them. They're super cute. I just... Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, um... Nope. There you go. <laughs> right there. 
I'm scared about the face I was just making as I was trying to do that. <laughs> I wasn't focused on the face, so there you go. <laughs> yeah. In my haul. Little treats. Little treats. Little treats. Um, let me, for plans, do you have plans? Um, I can talk a little bit about it, but it won't take very long. Yeah, Oops. I have uh, category plans. All right, go for it. All right, so the January categories are animals, and I actually worked on You Belong to Me for that. Uh -huh. uh, the second one was Less Than Ten Colors. I'm going to work on the Pointed Fifth from Long Dog. Uh, category was Large. I'm going to pull out Hyperborea because I would like to finish that. Yeah, you're so close. At Steel City Stitchers with Matt. Mm -hmm. Uh, number four is pattern release date before 2013. I thought for sure I was going to be like, what the heck am I going to find like that? You know what? Shores of Hawk Run Hollow was released before then. There you go. And new to you, um, I chose Dog's Declaration because it's the first time I am using Valdani threads. Oh, yeah. And the whip go numbers. Uh, so Matt wound up getting a choice, and it is the raccoon. Nice. And Laurel's choice is dogs day out. I see a lot of dogs in your future. <laughs> I see a lot of dogs in my future. So 500 stitches on each of those, but I'll probably put more in, because once I get started on those, I have trouble stopping. Right. Which is the whole point of doing this exercise anyway, is to like get more stitches in. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so my plans are, I would like to um, get some work in on, uh, more work in on the temperature quilt. And then um, the last three choices on WIPCO of 2022, um, where, <laughs> my um map um stitch along the one that looks like a big map from ink circles the roll your own adventure kind of thing um so i didn't get a chance to work any of that and it was for a grand total of 15 hours i don't think i'm going to get 15 hours but at minimum i would at least like to get five hours in to honor the choice that garrett made because one of the one of the squares was his choice and his choice was the map so i would like to at least get five hours in, if not more, um, on the map. And then I have a couple starts planned for my 50th birthday celebration. And if I am lucky, um, I might start in on one of the WIPCO goals for January. Um, mine lot, uh, dropped on, I have to work on a whip that's not a 50, uh, birthday celebration whip and mm -hmm. I need to work a little bit of time in on one of my charted needle points and which is timely because when we did the whip parade and I saw how close autumn maples <laughs> like I'm you know I've got some to do on it but if I put three hours in which is the whip go goal it'll be interesting to see how much I have left and maybe get that done this year so um, so those are the two for January. So I don't know if I'll get to them in the next two weeks until the next, um, filming, but they are, my, they are on my radar screen. Okay. So that's the plan. And then whatever trips my fancy, but I really am wanting to, this weekend there's a, uh, focus on a whip event in whip warriors and I'm choosing to use it to put some time in on the temperature quilt just to get more of the border and um, some of the months done and then I'll work in on some other stuff. So one of the things if you're doing the stitch what you want when you want. Oh, I lost you, Kate. Oh, sorry, calling. <laughs> oh no, there you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, what did you last hear? Uh, I heard everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just didn't see you. Um, 
I'll do this. Okay, so if you're doing stitch what you want, when you want, um, you have to show participation because you didn't have to set up an album, which is one of the ways they check how your progress is going for the other categories. Um, I chose to do an album um, because I like to see the progress. So I'm doing my album and also participating in a couple of the events. Some of the events they do, I, I just can't fit into my schedule. Um, or there's too much to keep track of. And I'm just like, I just want to stitch and count my stitches. I don't want to have to think about a game. <laughs> it makes it really stressful for me. It takes away the fun. And so, um, so I'm participating in this one and trying to get a good chunk done on the temperature cool. So anyways, there you go. So I think that's it. That was a lot, but it was a month. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> Now, uh, if you didn't see it, we did release a whip parade around Christmas Day. Um, if you want to go and take a look at um, what our whips, the totality of our whips um, are. Sorry, I was, there was something on my foot. Um, and you can take a look at that. And and, uh, and that's why we didn't uh, film for a month. But um, we hope you all had a great holiday season. Happy yep. New Year. Um, if you have any questions, comments, we appreciate them. We thank you so much for taking the time to leaving a comment, which is kind of fun to see what you guys react to. <laughs> yeah. Um, feel free to like, subscribe, comment. All that good stuff. Shout us out. <laughs> yes. We appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> we do. Thank you so much. Yeah. And, um, have a great stitchy day. Have a great stitchy day. Yes. See you in a couple weeks. Bye. Bye.